y'all in today's video i will be reviewing this straight 26 inch wig that i received from ic here and this is their pre-cut 9x6 hd closure wig since this unit already came pre-customized with a pre-cut lace i'm going straight in with my bold hold liquid gold gel for a longer hold i'm going in with the even firm hold spray to lay the lace down Once the gel is tacky enough, I'm going in to lay my lace down and I like to make sure that the hairline is laid directly on top of where I applied the gel. Then I'm going to blow dry until it is completely laid down and dried on a medium heat setting. tweezers to remove any extra hair that may have gotten stuck on the lace as I was laying my lace down. Now I'm going back in with that same even firm hold sensitive spray to relay the areas that did not fully glue down. Now that the lace is fully glued down, I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the color level 15, and I'm using the darkest shade on this palette to blend the lace with my skin tone. Now I'm going in with my elastic band and my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting, and this process really helps to melt the lace down and make sure that the lace is fully secured and dry. For this unit, I decided that I wanted to add a small widow's peak to the hairline area. This step is completely optional. With this step, you want to be careful and somewhat gentle as you're pulling the hair out. The other way you can go about it is by tweezing it, I believe. As for beginners, that's the best option. But you want to be careful because you do not want to rip your lace. Then I'm going back in with my foundation to match that part of the lace with my skin tone. I'm going in with my Cover Care Wax Stick to help flatten down the top of my wig. The first step to getting a really nice and flat wig is by using your blow dryer on the hottest heat setting and a brush and going over the top of the wig with that brush. pulling out my baby hairs I'm going in with my hot comb on the hottest heat setting and I'm going over the top of my wig with this hot comb and making sure that the foundation of this wig is nice and flat a 9 by 6 lace closure wig which means that the lace covers majority of the hairline area but not the air taps area so I pulled out a little bit of my natural hair to blend in with the baby hairs. I'm using my edge flat iron to curl my baby hairs and give my baby hairs that fluffy type of look. I went in with the even firm hold spray to style my baby hairs and I just started to play around with the baby hairs until I was satisfied with the results.
even wig knots concealer in the color medium beige to enhance my parting space. Now I'm using the Chi Silk Infusion Serum to add that shine and silk to the hair. The hair was already nice and straight, but it could definitely be straighter, so I went in with my flat iron to straighten the hair. Lastly, I'm going back in with my hot comb to make sure I didn't miss any areas and get that flat foundation. So here we have the final look of this wig and honestly, I was very satisfied with the outcome. I would say that this unit is very beginner friendly. Everything already came pre-customized, so I didn't have to bleach the hair. I didn't even have to pluck the knots. And the lace already came pre-cut, so the only thing that you would have to do is literally install the wig. I really do not have any complaints about this unit. The hair was super soft, 26 inches true to length, and I did not have to worry about any tangles, knots, or shedding at all. I love that this unit is a 9x6 HD lace closure wig, so I don't have to worry about the air tabs lifting up. And this unit can be worn as a glueless wig as well. Although this is a 9x6 lace closure unit, the lace is still wide enough for you to style it a different way. So in this next clip, I will try a different style and show y'all how versatile this unit is.
that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe comment down below and stay tuned for my next video